Hey guys, my name is Sarah and I'm the founder of a free stop motion video app called Life Flaps. And at Life Flaps, we really utilize IGTV and we're very excited with the new features that came out last week that allow people to publish their IGTV to their feed um, so people can preview the first minute while they're scrolling. Um, they don't have to go to your IGTV channel, which is really awesome. We saw amazing engagement. I think we quadrupled our normal engagement from an IGTV. Um, which was awesome. I absolutely love this feature, but it does require a bit more planning when you're editing your video so that you're happy with the grid thumbnail preview on your feed and then how the video looks when it's in people's feed. Cause though you post it as a nine by 16 ratio, um, it's only playing at a four by five ratio in people's feeds. So you kind of do have to plan around this. And in this video, I want to show you guys how to download um, a PNG file that I created that you can overlay across your video just so you can plan out your shots a bit better and move them around for when you're going to be publishing your IGTV to your feed. And this will help you see your, what your thumbnail is going to be, what the vertical video is going to look like, and how it's going to look in your IGTV um, channel. So I just imported the PNG file here and overlaid it on top of my entire project. It only really matters on the first um, one minute. And the square portion only matters if you're not uploading a custom thumbnail because it'll auto set to the first frame in the video as your thumbnail. So that's what I did with my pineapple video. Um, this was my thumbnail. I just left it blank. I didn't add text or anything. Um, the, if you want to, you can see how I do it in Photoshop. Um, so what you're really looking for is in the first minute that everything in these two um, look good because this is what people are going to see when they're scrolling through their feed for the first one minute of the video. So the square doesn't matter too much. Um, so just ignore that first line. What you're looking for is between these two lines and then the rest is obviously what will be on IGTV. Now let's say you do want a thumbnail that's more customized and isn't the first frame in your video and you want maybe some text up there, um, but you don't want it to look wonky in your feed, your grid feed. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna import the PNG file and overlay it and then you can see in the first square that's all we're carrying is a profile grid thumbnail for the square um, to see how it's gonna look. And you can see here it fits perfectly into the square. And then the rest will be on the IGTV thumbnail. Put in a new IGTV, um, you have the option to make a custom thumbnail. And if you wanna do this, you can just overlay that into Photoshop like I mentioned and you would upload it right here, edit cover. And from what I've experienced, you can't change this once it's uploaded. So if you don't do this, it'll be the, um, if you don't change it here, it'll be the first frame in the video, like I said. Um, but you can do this, maybe you want that. But then again, you have no way of seeing how is this gonna look in your grid feed unless you bring it into Photoshop and put that guide, guide light in to see. Uh, Alright, that's it. If you want the PNG file to help you with your crop guidelines for IGTV, um, access through the link below. Otherwise, um, feel free to like this video or comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel. Bye!